the question we want to ask is what does the science say? Dairy products are advanced in Western countries as being necessary for human health. They are recommended um, uh, in uh, the dietary guidelines and uh, pushed uh, through industry and marketing initiatives. But these recommendations are the result of aggressive marketing campaigns by the dairy industry they are absolutely not supported by science. And they are also not supported by mother nature herself. Um, the uh, idea that we are supposed to continue consuming a material that was only intended as uh, a food for babies throughout our lifetime is one of the most um, just absurd behaviors that human beings have ever adopted. And um, it actually creates just um, uh, uh, untold amounts of disease and um, that uh, ultimately results in uh, disability and premature death for literally millions of people. And uh, we really, really need to uh, reconsider this behavior and, uh, and, and just stop it because it is very, very destructive, not only for our health, but for the environment and certainly um, uh, for the animals that uh, we abuse by... Uh, um, uh, uh, forcing them into the slavery that <laughs> um, uh, it takes to, to uh, produce these products. Um, so, Dr. Dr. Mills, pardon the interruption. Um, I think your mouse might be hovering over your screen because we see that tab with all of the Zoom uh, tabs on the bottom. So if you just move your mouse, I think that might clear up the screen a little bit. Actually, um, or is that part you know, of let me, let me, let me, yeah, um, let me see if I can get this. Um, uh, you know, I um, I tried to get rid of this thing, and um, uh, hmm, let me see if my tech team can jump in and tell us what to do. I know that to, no to do get rid of this. Yeah, I don't. Um, if, you, if you move your mouse off, it goes away. I don't want to interrupt your whole presentation, and if we can't get it, that's okay. But we wanted to make sure you knew. Um, yeah, see, I, I've, yeah. I've, I've tried it, yeah, to make it like, um, yeah, this Dr. Mills, this is John. Um, if you want, um, where it says more, click on more to the right, uh -huh. to the right. and then there should be something to hide floating meeting controls. If you click on that, that should hide the, the controls for you. Hide floating. There we go. That's All it. right. And then, and then, the, um, it's, there's perfect. Perfect. All right. Lovely. You know what? I have been doing these presentations for like, I don't know, a million years, and I never knew how to do that. So um, I am in love with you guys now. That is why we uh, picked on the big bucks. Yes. <laughs> anyway, that previous slide uh, was from the book of Daniel. It said, give us uh, vegetables to drink, to eat and water to drink. Um, and that was wonderful uh, advice then and still is good advice now. So uh, this slide says, according to evolutionary theory, how old is the human species, which um, is defined as being homo sapiens sapiens? Well, again, according to evolutionary theory, uh, the human species is 100,000 years old. So then the question I want to ask is, how old is the practice of uh, abusing female uh, uh, animals to uh, steal their um, mammary secretions. Less than 6,000 years old. So then quite naturally, the question is, if we've been around for, again, according to evolutionary theory, 100,000 years, how the heck did we survive all that time without abusing these animals? If dairy products are so essential, how did human beings exist and survive for 94,000 years without them? Clearly, 
they're not essential. It's absurd to postulate that we could have survived for so long if dairy was essential. It's not. By the way, I just want you guys to notice that these poor animals are literally covered in their own filth. And as you can see, um, that the feces is getting into um, the udder, it's, it covers their udders, it's getting into uh, the milk that's being uh, 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 taken from them. Um, and that is one of the reasons that that milk has to be quote, pasteurized, that is heated up to, I don't know how many hundreds of degrees to try and kill off um, all of the bacteria um, that uh, uh, goes into the milk. So just know that uh, anytime um, people are drinking milk or eating, consuming anything made from cow's milk, they're getting a healthy dose of feces with their milk. So, <clears throat> um, there's an article titled Diet Patterns and Mortality, Common Threads and Consistent Results that was published in the Journal of Nutrition in April 2014 that reviewed four dietary patterns associated with lower risk of death from cardiovascular disease, cancer, or any cause whatsoever. The take-home message from that article was that all four dietary patterns were built on a common core of a diet that was rich in plant foods. So in other words, if you wanted to lower your risk from cardiovascular disease, cancer, or just lower your risk of dying, you needed to build your diet, not around dairy, not around meat, not around animal foods. You needed to build your diet around a diet rich in plant foods, whole grains, variety of fruits and vegetables, nuts and legumes. Remember what Daniel said? Give us vegetables to eat and water to drink, not milk, not meat, not cheese. And this was supported by extensive scientific evidence. Ladies and gentlemen, I, you know, look, I, I'm, this is not subtle. This is not a matter of conjecture. This is not up to debate. I'm not here to mince around and, you know, uh, hem and haw. I'm tired of people, you know, acting like we don't know what the truth is. You know, if you want to sit around and eat Popeyes and KFC, you don't do that. But when you drop dead, when your chest starts seizing, when your heart says, I've had it, I'm out of here, then just go in the backyard, lay down and die. But, you know, don't act like you don't understand what's going on or, you know, ask God, why is this happening to me? It's happening because you threw your life away on some foolishness because it's crystal clear what you should be doing if you want to live and you want to be healthy. OK, it, it, it's just not up to debate anymore. Blue zone data, they, uh, the blue zone data, which we've had again for more than a generation, they went around the world and looked at the places around the world where people lived the longest. Why did they do that? Because, you know, people said, well, you know, maybe when you look in one place where people live the longest, it's because they're all, they just have good genes. So, Maybe we need to, you know, look in different places where people live the longest to see, is there some common thread between these different areas that could account for why people live the longest? Okay, let's do that. Guess what they found? They found that wherever people lived a long time, the common thread was that they were eating a plant-based diet and they remained active throughout their life. And more, even more interestingly, they found that the more plant-based the diet, the longer the people lived and the lower their risk for dementia. And guess where the longest lived population was? Right here in the United States, in Loma Linda, California, where people had, where there was a high population of people who were vegetarian and vegan. 
So in other words, the longest lived people were the people who were the most plant-based. And that was in Loma Linda, California. And it actually turns out that we probably have a second blue zone uh, in Huntsville, Alabama, where there is a uh, population of vegan, uh, of black vegan Seventh-day Adventists that were, guess what, overlooked when the people were doing the original Blue Zone study. But we have some people who are trying to gather that data now and amend the original study. Um, uh, well, I just covered this. The only Blue Zone is in, in the United States, Loma Linda, uh, and that's because of the plant-based Adventists. Uh, and they were the longest living of the Blue Zone populations uh, that had been studied. Uh, it was shown that the uh, women lived an average of 6.6 uh, years longer than uh, uh, general population, and the men lived almost a decade longer on average. Doesn't mean that being plant-based um, is not as uh, um, beneficial for women. It's just that women outlive men uh, uh, so, you know, so much uh, uh, at baseline that you know, uh, there just wasn't as much room for improvement. You know, you can uh, sadly only go for so long. So, uh, although just uh, as a little aside, I still have not accepted the fact that I'm not going to be able to figure out a way to just live forever. So I'll let you know how that works out for me.